Hey, so in my latest channel update, I promised that today I would do the Magar Allied Race Introductory Quest Line, but unfortunately, I ran into a bug that stopped me. So, since instead I still wanted to do free videos this week, I'm doing a shorter lore facts for today. And since it's Classic Launch Day, I'm doing one on something that was not present in Classic World of Warcraft at all. Enjoy! The Laughing Skulls were known as one of the most savage and maniacal orc clans of Janor. They lived in the southern part of Gorgron, near some of the conflict zones between the Breakers and the Primals, and, as such, became more and more brutal in order to survive. They were also hostile to most other neighboring clans, warring often with the Frostwolves, Thunderlords, and probably the Whiteclaw clans. In fact, as some of their own clan members have said, most of the Laughing Skull clan are crazy, making a habit of laughing in the face of death, hence their name. Following the Horde's conquest of Junor, many of the clans, including the Laughing Skulls, began turning on each other due to starvation and the inherent bloodlust of demon blood. In order to protect the rest of the Horde, Blackhand banished these clans from Hellfire Citadel and later ordered them, along with Ner'zhul Shadowmoon clan, to remain on Junor while the Horde invaded Azeroth. The Warchief hoped that, once they heard tales of the Horde's conquest in this new world, they would be forced to control themselves and would then be allowed to join in. Instead, by the time the succeeding Warchief, Orkrum Doomhammer, decided to call upon them after the fall of Stormwind, the clans of Junor had descended even more into bloodlust and conflict amongst themselves, the Laughing Skulls specifically warring with the Thunderlords and probably participating in the destruction of the White Claw clan. The Laughing Skulls were eventually forced into the service of Ner'zhul's Horde and participated in Grama Shell Scream's attack on Nethergard Keep, as well as, probably, the battles of the Alliance at Hellfire Citadel and the Black Temple. The clan, however, betrayed Ner'zhul, though the exact manner differs across the sources. In the original game, they managed to steal the Book of Medi from the Warchief and then gave it to the Alliance in exchange for a truce and them destroying their rival Bone Chewers and Thunderlords. In Burning Crusade, it stated that a part of the clan, living in Farallon, established a truce with the Kirintor expedition of Kirinvar village. In the Beyond the Dark Portal novel, the Laughing Skulls are only rarely mentioned, although, after Ner'zhul escaped Junor, a member of the clan, Obris, gave the Book of Medivh to Khadgar. The orc was disillusioned with the way his clan had been forced to rejoin the Horde, as well as with Ner'zhul's hunger for power and betrayal of the other orcs. He had even openly questioned the Warchief's decision to abandon the rest of the Horde and was struck down by him as a result. He had been entrusted with the Book of Mediv and so willingly chose to give it to Khadgar in his final moments. The only other known individual member of the clan in our timeline was their former leader, Mogur the Ogre, though he has a bit of an odd history. While in the original Beyond the Dark Portal expansion, he was the leader of the clan Ner'zhul's forces subjugated and then negotiated the handover of the Book of Medivh to the Alliance, he is instead not mentioned at all in the novel. He's also no longer affiliated with the clan in Burning Crusade, instead being a leader of the War Maul clan of ogres inhabiting the Laughing Skull ruins in Nagrand. He also has no connection with them at all in Warlords of Janor, instead being an arena champion of the Gorian ogres. I know this isn't exactly strong canon, but still his Hearthstone flavor text says that he quote, helped, helped reopen the Dark Portal, which does, on the other hand, imply a connection with the Laughing Skulls. Also oddly enough, his appearance in Warlords of the Nor has only one head, indicating the possibility that he fought with the Horde on Azeroth, where Gul'dan turned him into an Ogre Mage, then returned to Janor and took leadership of the clan. In short, it's complicated and convoluted. Due to the nature of their homeland, the Laughing Skulls can be called specialists in jungle warfare, having also learned to survive and even thrive in harsh conditions. 
in fact, cast the Shrieker of the alternate Laughing Skulls when fighting the Alliance in Zuldazar, states that the local jungle is much less dangerous than Gorgrons. In addition to this, the Laughing Skulls of our timeline eventually became specialists in fevery and assassination. They would eventually turn into Fell Orcs, becoming part of the Fell Horde and charged with guarding the Blood Furnace, where new Fell Orcs were made. In fact, all of the Fell Hordes in game Assassins are either part of, a, of the Laughing Skull Clan or of the Shattered Hand Clan.